Sales has less to do with about trying to get the client's money, and it has more to do with trying to give the client value. Hello, welcome back. Today I've got Ian Lowe with me. Ian's the CEO of GoGivers Australia. He's an expert in sales transformation, and his specialty is in helping people understand why they sell versus how they sell. Welcome, Ian. Happy to be here, John. Why they sell versus how they sell. Can yeah. you tell me a little bit about what that means? Well, you know, I, I think it's uh, so many people have a have a, a dysfunctional relationship with with that word sales. You know, so many people uh, have a backwards view of what sales really is. And you know, it's I suppose it's it's understandable, right? You know, there's so much uh, coverage of negative behaviours uh, of salespeople. I mean, anyone who saw uh, the Wolf of Wall Street, or oh, yeah. <laughs> or, or uh, has uh, been following the the media coverage of the of the aggressive sales tactics employed by a couple of the big banks in their dealings with financial advisory customers. Dreadful stuff. Yeah, they would they would have had their most um, uh, negative fears about uh, the character and behaviour of salespeople and the trustworthiness of salespeople and the organisations they work for confirmed, right? So when you say transforming and, and how we sell, uh, why we sell versus how we sell, what do you really mean by that? Well, I think you know, the, 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 the traditional view of the sales uh, person's mindset is that they're uh, out there to try and get the client's money into their pocket as soon as they possibly can. You know? Yeah, the, the poor ones, I mean, the good ones maybe not. Sure, I mean, but you know, you 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 could you think that about you know some of these the big banks, right? I mean, oh, big yeah, brands. True. You think you're, you're safe with those big brands, mm. but yet the behaviours of the sales or the salespeople and the culture they clearly developed was was contrary to the interests of the customer. Mm. You know, so um, I, I, our view is that sales um, has has less to do with about trying to get the client's money, and it has more to do with trying to give the client value. Okay, yep, that makes a lot of sense. So it's, it's really all about positioning as a giver of value, a creator of value for your client, versus having a focus on trying to get something from the client. Absolutely. But that's why we're there, though, ultimately, is to get the order, right? Sure. Uh, and but we follow process to do that. Yeah, I mean, it's important to have sales process. You know, sales process is important, it's, but, it's, but in and of itself, it's, it's incomplete. It, it, what you really need to have is a, an, is, a, is a purpose and a philosophy that is focused your entire organization. Your mindset is 100% focused on trying to consistently and constantly create value for the customer. And that's ultimately why people buy, right? They will buy from you not because you have a target to meet or because you have a product to sell or because you have a boss that's on your back trying to tell you to make more sales. People will buy from you because they see there's value in them doing so. So you, the bottom line point you're making then, as I understand, is the top salespeople need to be givers, not takers. They need to be creators of value for the customer. And that should be their whole philosophy, knowing that they'll receive in, as a result. True? Absolutely. You nailed it. I'd like to talk more about that next time we get together. Thank Fantastic. you very much, Ian. Look forward to it, John.